last time I'll bring head mount and now I also I put back the audio controls to manual instead of automatic and wind reduction and stuff so now it's in manual stereo mode um, I could try the manual wind only mode and see what happens then but when I was recording that new gen Scania I had it uh, set to automatic mode accidentally so that's why the sound got so bad I think I don't know we'll see now uh, like how this video turns out but so this is a Scania G440 from like 2015 or no wait 2012 I think yeah Scania G440 so it's a bit old I don't know how much it's gone because it says just trip they put he's put a trip uh, the other driver and I don't know how to put it back to the mileage really if any of you know please tell me uh, so I was gonna fuel this truck oh boy I set it to the hottest settings here wow it's steaked um, so it feels uh, surprisingly normal to go back to work here now after one and a half week ago where I tested the other job was just testing out the new, the new gen Scania finally I got to test it out but oddly, oddly enough usually when I've been out from work like just one week it feels so weird when hopping into a truck and driving again but for some reason this time it didn't feel weird at all it felt like uh, normal so it's strange of course it, it feels kind of a little bit weird you know at the very first time when I was connecting the truck with the trailer and so but now it's it feels normal again but still I gotta keep extra focus because I'm not really used to this now after my trip to Gran Canaria and being home <coughs> that was really nice trip by the way love that place it's such a perfect destination destination for us uh, Swedes set the exposure settings here on the camera but you know I think for us Swedes who live here in the north where it's so so dark in the winters um, we really need to, I think everybody should need to go go on a trip at least one time every winter at least one week you know to uh, more sunny places to get that vitamin D up the Mosma Hill and you can listen to the beautiful engine truck sound of this thing but this squeaking annoying steering knob that I hate though it's the worst you pinch your finger in here and all everything and it's squeaking I hate that thing now the boogie lifted up so the truck is not really so stable then or it's like it's easier to go back and forth and if you noticed on my uh, new generation Scania video I went a lot you know back and forth with the steering wheel but that's just because it was so light and I was not used to it you know being so light uh, it's um, it's almost like the new gen Volvos kind of and also when you're driving a semi-trailer drag truck it's even more lighter because uh, the drag truck is, uh, I don't know, the, the wheels are closer, the driving wheels are closer and it's just a lot more flimsier. I remember from driving the semi-trailers on the other job, the Volvo FH440 semi-trailer trucks, which I also driven a lot. I have uh, quite a few videos on that. So now we're cruising up here in 70 km an hour and uh, now it's a little bit uphill but it's gonna go down here so I'm just going to release the gas here basically already push it into manual because I don't want it to be like switching on its own sometimes it tends to do that okay maybe that was a little bit early or it was good now we're driving here 58 kilometers an hour or something yeah 58 so we're rolling up to 60 it's 60 here perfect if you keep setting 
70 all the way you will have to brake here and you know waste brakes so this is a lot more economical oh I was surprised how bad the drivers was there in Gran Canaria though that bus driver that I recorded on my Instagram account he was horrible it's like accelerating like full gas revving out the engine to the max um, or I think that was automatic but the other bus driver on my way back to the airport when I finished the vacation he had manual I think and he just revved out the engine um, and also like no echo rolling at all it's just like either you gas or you brake you know so hard on the brakes and hard on the gas it's just horrible ride really and everybody was driving like that in all Gran Canaria and I bet it's like I mean it's like that in most other European countries they have no clue what eco driving is <laughs> you all should start doing it because it saves on your wallet and it saves on the environment and everything I even do it with my car and boy I really like that Opel Vectra I bought it's a really nice car so smooth like the engine is a bit worn you know the engine connections which holds up the engine you can feel it sometimes when you're like on the cruise control and then you're pushing the clutch and the, the cruise control goes off immediately and then it's like it's like a little glitchy you know but if you like if you they have put some sort of like dampening system on the gas or like when you when you if you gas and then you release the gas totally it doesn't make that you know glitch or you know like it's rough it's really smooth ride man that Opel Vectra is I don't know it feels like a Chevrolet or like a big uh, big pickup or something it goes so smooth almost like a Volvo 940 eh, which I had before those are only also really smooth cars but yeah I would I would rather have bought a rear wheel drive Volvo 940 kind of <clears throat> but then I would probably drift it to crash it or something so I guess it's better with front wheel drive <clears throat> so I'm still feeling sick yeah I've been feeling like this this whole year and last year as well I did not really I did eat very good on my vacation but I did seem a couple of times and also I ate some chocolates and stuff which contain milk and stuff you know I'm vegan now so it's pretty hard it surely is where is the that was pretty weird the brakes are pretty weird because um, I think the trailer has some EBS EBS problems I don't know it's strange
it's downhill, you can like just switch up the gear really early. So now that I'm pulling the retarder with the engage, just the engine brake and the retarder automatically. The new generation scanning app didn't have any lever, which was really weird. You had to like tap down the gears and then it would automatically engage like only the help brakes when you just tap the button there. and 30 on my body so the sun was like straight above us hill climb holder <laughs> gotta be careful when turning to the left so my pallets my pallets there doesn't flip over Um, the 
flight and the hotel for two weeks cost um, only, I think it was 4,000 kroner per person for two weeks. It's really good, including hotel and, and uh, plane ticket, but the hotel was pretty bad. You know, it was breakfast included, but the breakfast was like just white bread and jelly. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, here you don't really have to do it like without avoiding the middle curve there. It's usually no problem with just going over it. Here I'm gonna show you now when I'm going over it. Then you don't have to brake so much, you see. Oh, it doesn't even go over it, you see, it just it's not shit. Snitch. 